Good morning, everybody. More they do here. On Patreon, I've been writing weekly articles to keep everyone updated about what I'm doing. I've done about four so far, and it's been pretty fun, but today I remembered that my job is making videos, so why not just make them videos? Turn on my camera, throw on some simple editing, and bam, regular second channel content while I'm not streaming. After this video, I'll probably make them Patreon exclusive, but still free for a week before uploading them here. It's just similar to main channel videos, but if there's something particularly time sensitive, I will just upload it raw. Just quietly, half the reason I was posting articles was to try and drive people to the Patreon, but I don't know how well it's doing that. Usually you have to give it about three months to thoroughly test something, but I like making videos anyway. Anyway, news aside, what are we talking about this week? Briefly, the last video, The Law of No, I'm Not a Human, is doing incredibly well. It's my best performing video over the same time period, so it's been about six and a half days as of the time of recording this. I'm going to do a full analytics breakdown, but I, I like saving that for the seven day mark, so that'll be next week's video. Um, other than that, I'm currently working on three videos simultaneously. One is very short, and by sheer coincidence, by the time you see this, the thumbnail for patrons will be up, so make sure to go check that out. The video after that is another fear and hunger video. It's a topic I've been keen on digging into for a long, long time. It's not gonna be an hour long monster like Machine God or the Sulphur video, but it's closer in scope to my videos, uh, Love and Torment and Tragic Stories. It's not an anthology video like those are though. Um, you, you know how those ones are collections of smaller stories within fear and hunger around a central theme, like around the themes of love and torment. This video I'm currently working on is about a, a single topic. It'll just be about the same length as those ones, is what I mean in terms of scope. I can't tell you much about it. Any more might spoil it, so you'll just have to wait and see. The other one that's probably not too surprising is a video about a certain book that just released by a certain author. It's, it's God Husk. You, you know, Plastaboo released Vermis and the Vermis video on my main channel did very well and Plastaboo just released God Husk, so of course I'm going to cover that. And it is sick. It is so good. It's it's a bit different in vibe. Like, it's sci-fi and Vermis was fantasy, so it's different in that regard. But the way the whole book is structured is just different enough from Vermis that it's a very different experience. I hi If you like Vermis, I highly recommend buying this book. It is excellent. The lore in it is so incredibly dense that I'm having to just nibble at it every couple of days so I can digest it slowly. That's going to be after I finish these next two videos, unless something drastic happens, like a certain update for a certain game drops. For, for term If the update for Terminator comes out, then all bets are off. <laughs> So I usually don't like discussing my personal matters, but maybe this format would be a little better for that. Not like family drama or anything like that, but just my general situation. If you follow my ex, you may remember a few months ago, I wasn't doing very well at all. Well, that situation hasn't really resolved, more like it's in limbo. Maybe one day I'll be able to tell you about it, but I can't quite yet. Um, unironically for legal reasons, not, I, it's not me. Like it's, I didn't do anything <laughs> and that's like, I'm not the one, I'm not the one embroiled in the court. So don't worry. So don't worry. Um, anyway, one of the upshots of that whole situation is that I'm having to move soon, probably around Christmas, maybe a little bit afterwards. I've been open about the fact that YouTube hasn't been quite enough money for me to fully support myself for a little while. Before I go on, I just want to say this video isn't me begging for you to donate or to become a patron. Um, last time I mentioned this and I'm going to bring it up again. Um, I only want support I've earned. If you feel like I've earned your patronage, you know, a couple of bucks, then please consider pledging on Patreon. YouTube's ad payments are the vast majority of my earnings, so sharing the video, liking it, commenting, all that good stuff uh, is a legitimately good way of supporting any, any YouTuber. It's, it's a great way of supporting them. The reason for that is if I get stuck, I'm going to get a second job. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and beg money off you guys just so I don't have to get a real job. I'm not, I'm not that sort of person. Being a YouTuber or any sort of content creator is a privilege that relies on making entertaining content. So if I can't do that, then I don't deserve your support. I'm currently putting out feelers for video editing jobs. 
Editing in other genres would be a pretty fun experience, and I, I look, I think I'm good at it. Video editing is one of those things where it's really easy to get stuck in a niche, and my niche is obviously like law videos, video essays. Doing different genres, I think, would help me break out of that a little bit and learn things I would never be able to learn, and maybe learn stuff I can reapply back to my, my bread and butter, right? So I'm, honestly, I, I don't think it would be a bad thing for me to, to branch out into other genres. And if I'm getting paid to do it, that's even better. That being said, if I get a few more videos that perform like my latest one, you know, the law of no, I'm not a human, then I, I won't need to. It's doing incredibly well and it's earning, people can get iffy if you say numbers, so I won't say numbers, but it's got twice the views of my last video. At the time of recording, it's got twice the views of my last video, but it's got three times the ad revenue for about the same amount of length of video, right? So it's um, it's doing incredibly well. And thank you guys so much for that, by the way. Thank, I, I you know, I, I'm blown away. Blew me socks off. So if I get a couple more like that, I <laughs> I probably won't need to get a second job, to be honest. So, you know, that, I think that's the issue with a lot of my plans. That's, that's mainly stressing me out, is that all of my plans rely on things that I can't tell for certain. I need to get a job if my YouTube doesn't do as well but it's right on the edge of doing well enough. Um, and, and one thing, Australia is expensive. Australia is pretty expensive, but I'm getting paid in US dollars, which are very good here. So it kind of evens out. <laughs> um, I, think I, might, I think I might try to get, I might chase up more sponsorships too. Um, the reason I sort of stopped doing that, the main reason is because my very first sponsorship video bombed. It, oh, it was my worst performing video in months, maybe maybe even ever since I started doing real videos, right? It might, it might legitimately be my worst one. You know, I, I crunched the numbers and I wanted to figure out why, why, it's, why it bombed. And the reason was, is from, from what, I, what I gather, was that it was a good video, but it was made for nobody. And that's part, of, that's part of the process too, is figuring out who to make videos for. And if you make a video for nobody, it doesn't matter how good it is. That really sort of spooked me off a lot of things. That, that was, it was frankly embarrassing for my first sponsor video to, to do that. It was, it was frankly embarrassing for my first sponsor video to do so poorly. At the time, like at, until very recently, it got like, you know, it had like 4,000 views, which is, which is awful for a, for a channel my size. And the videos out the side of it have like 10 times the amount of views minimum, <laughs> you know? And so it, it, it scared me off doing um, sponsorships for a while. Um, and it scared me off doing really experimental stuff. So I had a lot of videos planned that were very different from what my channel usually does. And that made me just go, no, I can't do it. Because I knew, at, even at the time, I knew I had to earn enough money to, to be able to support myself soon. So I'm like, I, I can't do that. I, I have to do, make more conservative videos. And because of that, I did, you know, the ones I've been doing and they've been doing very well. So it was a good idea. But yes, I look forward to short update videos like this every week. But you know, that's that's sort of where I am at the moment. Um, and I'll let you guys know if anything major changes. Honestly, I don't think you'll notice much difference. No matter what happens to me, unless I need to take a big break, but I don't think I'll I don't think I'll need to. That that's not really in any of the any of the cards at the moment is me having to take a big break from YouTube. Even if I get like even if for some bizarre reason I'm forced to get a full time job, like I can't find any part time jobs, then I'll still be making YouTube. It'll just be a bit slower. Like I, I, I legitimately love doing this and like I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me so far and, and watching my videos and um, I, I hope I can make stuff that you enjoy. That's sort of that's that, that's at the end of the day, what I want to do is I want to I want to tell interesting stories that you guys enjoy. And I think I've been, I've been trying my hardest to do that. And I think I've done that at least a couple of times. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so look forward to short update videos like this every week. Um, I, <laughs> I won't be whining about job hunting or anything like that much though. Um, if anything major changes in my situation, I will, I will inform you. But again, I don't expect it to. So in these videos, I do have a lot of topics planned to talk about, but if there is a particular topic or behind the scenes on a particular video you want me to discuss, then I'm, I'm very happy to do that. So make sure to let me know. And like always, the best way to support the channel is through Patreon. You get to see videos a week early, scripts for the main channel videos, and even your name in the credits. Thank you very much for watching. My name's More They Do, and remember, you're never alone in the dark. What's up everybody? More They Critical here. The fear and hunger drama is crazy. Kahara got the guard's pee pee stuck inside his poo poo butt. <laughs> and he got it torn off. <laughs>